A thermodynamic potential in fact, rather energy than potential is a scalar quantity used to represent the thermodynamic state of a system. The concept of thermodynamic potentials was introduced by Pierre Duhem in 1886. Josiah Willard Gibbs in his papers used the term fundamental functions. One main thermodynamic potential that has a physical interpretation is the internal energy U. It is the energy of configuration of a given system of conservative forces that is why it is called potential and only has meaning with respect to a defined set of references or data. Expressions for all other thermodynamic energy potentials are derivable via Legendre transforms from an expression for U in thermodynamics. External forces, such as gravity, are typically disregarded when formulating expressions for potentials. For example, while all the working fluid in a steam engine may have higher energy due to gravity while sitting on top of Mount Everest than it would at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the gravitational potential energy term in the formula for the internal energy would usually be ignored because changes in gravitational potential within the engine during operation would be negligible. In a large system under even homogeneous external force, like the Earth atmosphere under gravity, the intensive parameters P T Rho display style p t rho should be studied locally having even in equilibrium different values in different places far from each other see thermodynamic models of troposphere topic description and interpretation five common thermodynamic potentials are where t topic temperature s entropy p topic pressure v volume the helmholtz free energy is in iso iec standard called helmholtz energy or helmholtz function it is often denoted by the symbol f but the use of a is preferred by iupac iso and iec Ni is the number of particles of type I in the system and mu I is the chemical potential for an I-type particle. For the sake of completeness, the set of all Ni are also included as natural variables, although they are sometimes ignored. These five common potentials are all energy potentials, but there are also entropy potentials. The thermodynamic square can be used as a tool to recall and derive some of the potentials. Just as in mechanics, where potential energy is defined as capacity to do work, similarly different potentials have different meanings. Internal energy U is the capacity to do work plus the capacity to release heat. Gibbs energy G is the capacity to do non-mechanical work. Enthalpy H is the capacity to do non-mechanical work plus the capacity to release heat. Helmholtz energy F is the capacity to do mechanical plus non-mechanical work from these meanings which actually apply in specific conditions e.g. constant pressure temperature etc we can say that delta U is the energy added to the system delta F is the total work done on it delta G is the non-mechanical work done on it and delta H is the sum of non-mechanical work done on the system and the heat given to it Thermodynamic potentials are very useful when calculating the equilibrium results of a chemical reaction, or when measuring the properties of materials in a chemical reaction. The chemical reactions usually take place under some constraints such as constant pressure and temperature, or constant entropy and volume, and when this is true, there is a corresponding thermodynamic potential that comes into play. Just as in mechanics, the system will tend towards lower values of potential and at equilibrium, under these constraints, the potential will take on an unchanging minimum value. The thermodynamic potentials can also be used to estimate the total amount of energy available from a thermodynamic system under the appropriate constraint. In particular, see principle of minimum energy for a derivation. When the entropy s and external parameters e.g. volume of a closed system are held constant, the internal energy U decreases and reaches a minimum value at equilibrium. This follows from the first and second laws of thermodynamics and is called the principle of minimum energy. The following three statements are directly derivable from this principle. When the temperature T and external parameters of a closed system are held constant, the Helmholtz free energy F decreases and reaches a minimum value at equilibrium. 
When the pressure p and external parameters of a closed system are held constant, the enthalpy H decreases and reaches a minimum value at equilibrium. When the temperature T, pressure P and external parameters of a closed system are held constant, the Gibbs free energy G decreases and reaches a minimum value at equilibrium. <laughs> Natural variables The variables that are held constant in this process are termed the natural variables of that potential. The natural variables are important not only for the above mentioned reason, but also because if a thermodynamic potential can be determined as a function of its natural variables, all of the thermodynamic properties of the system can be found by taking partial derivatives of that potential with respect to its natural variables and this is true for no other combination of variables. On the converse, if a thermodynamic potential is not given as a function of its natural variables, it will not, in general, yield all of the thermodynamic properties of the system. Notice that the set of natural variables for the above four potentials are formed from every combination of the TS and PV variables, excluding any pairs of conjugate variables. There is no reason to ignore the Ni mu i conjugate pairs, and in fact we may define four additional potentials for each species. Using IUPAC notation in which the brackets contain the natural variables other than the main four, we have If there is only one species, then we are done. But, if there are, say, two species, then there will be additional potentials such as U mu 1 mu 2 equals U minus mu 1 n 1 minus mu 2 n 2 display style u mu underscore 1 mu underscore 2 equals u mu underscore 1 n underscore 1 mu underscore 2 n underscore 2 and so on if there are d dimensions to the thermodynamic space then there are 2d unique thermodynamic potentials for the most simple case, a single phase ideal gas, there will be three dimensions, yielding eight thermodynamic potentials. The fundamental equations The definitions of the thermodynamic potentials may be differentiated and, along with the first and second laws of thermodynamics, a set of differential equations known as the fundamental equations follow. Actually they are all expressions of the same fundamental thermodynamic relation, but are expressed in different variables. By the first law of thermodynamics, any differential change in the internal energy U of a system can be written as the sum of heat flowing into the system and work done by the system on the environment, along with any change due to the addition of new particles particles to the system d u equals delta q minus delta w plus i mu i d n i Display style mathrm d u equals delta q delta w plus sum underscore i mu underscore i mathrm d and underscore i, where delta q is the infinitesimal heat flow into the system and delta w is the infinitesimal work done by the system. Mu i is the chemical potential of particle type i and ni is the number of type i particles. Note that neither delta q nor delta w are exact differentials. Small changes in these variables are, therefore, represented with delta rather than d. By the second law of thermodynamics, we can express the internal energy change in terms of state functions and their differentials. In case of reversible changes, we have delta q equals T D S display style delta q equals T mathrm D S delta W equals P D V display style delta W equals P mathrm D V, where T is temperature, S is entropy, P is pressure, and V is volume, and the equality holds for reversible processes. This leads to the standard differential form of the internal energy in case of a quasi-static reversible change. D U 
equals T D S minus P D V plus I mu I D N I Display style mathem d u equals t mathem d s p mathem d v plus sum underscore i mu underscore i mathem d and underscore i. Since u s and v are thermodynamic functions of state, the above relation holds also for arbitrary non-reversible changes. If the system has more external variables than just the volume that can change, the fundamental thermodynamic relation generalizes to d u equals T D S minus I X I D X I plus J mu J D N J Display style do equals t d s sum underscore i x underscore i d x underscore i plus sum underscore j mu underscore j d n underscore j. Here the she are the generalized forces corresponding to the external variables she. Applying Legendre transforms repeatedly. The following differential relations hold for the four potentials. Note that the infinitesimals on the right-hand side of each of the above equations are of the natural variables of the potential on the left-hand side. Similar equations can be developed for all of the other thermodynamic potentials of the system. There will be one fundamental equation for each thermodynamic potential, resulting in a total of 2D fundamental equations. The differences between the four thermodynamic potentials can be summarized as follows. D P V equals D H minus D U equals D G minus D F Display style mathem d p v equals mathem d h mathem d u equals mathem d g mathem d f d t S equals D U minus D F equals D H minus D G Display style mathem d t s equals mathem d u mathem d f equals mathem d h mathem d g The equations of state We can use the above equations to derive some differential definitions of some thermodynamic parameters. If we define phi to stand for any of the thermodynamic potentials, then the above equations are of the form d phi equals i x i d y i Display style mathem d phi equals sum underscore i x underscore i mathem d y underscore i, where she and ye are conjugate pairs, and the ye are the natural variables of the potential phi. From the chain rule, it follows that x j equals phi y j y i does not equal j. Display style x underscore j equals left frac partial phi partial y underscore j right underscore y underscore i n e q j, where y does not equal j is the set of all natural variables of phi except y. This yields expressions for various thermodynamic parameters in terms of the derivatives of the potentials with respect to their natural variables. These equations are known as equations of state since they specify parameters of the thermodynamic state. If we restrict ourselves to the potentials u, f, h and g, then we have plus t equals u s v n i equals 
H S P N I display style plus T equals left frac partial u partial s right underscore V and underscore I equals left frac partial H partial s right underscore P and underscore I minus P equals u V s n I equals F V T N I display style p equals left frac partial u partial v right underscore s n underscore i equals left frac partial f partial v right underscore t n underscore i plus v equals h p s n i equals g P T N I display style plus v equals left frac partial h partial p right underscore s n underscore i equals left frac partial g partial p right underscore t n underscore i minus s equals g t p n I equals F T V N I display style s equals left frac partial g partial t right underscore p n underscore i equals left frac partial f partial t right underscore v n underscore i mu j equals phi n J X Y N I does not equal J display style tilde mu underscore J equals left frac partial phi partial n underscore J right underscore X Y N underscore I N E Q J where in the last equation phi is any of the thermodynamic potentials U F H G and x y n j does not equal i display style x y n underscore j n e q i are the set of natural variables for that potential excluding the if we use all potentials then we will have more equations of state such as minus n j equals u mu j mu j s v n i does not equal j display style n underscore j equals left frac partial u mu underscore j partial mu underscore j right underscore s v n underscore i n e q j and so on in all, there will be d equations for each potential, resulting in a total of d2d equations of state. If the d equations of state for a particular potential are known, then the fundamental equation for that potential can be determined. This means that all thermodynamic information about the system will be known, and that the fundamental equations for any other potential can be found, along with the corresponding equations of state. The Maxwell relations Again, define Xi and Yi to be conjugate pairs, and the Yi to be the natural variables of some potential phi. We may take the «cross differentials» of the state equations, which obey the following relationship y j phi y k y i does not equal K Y I does not equal J equals Y K Phi Y J Y I does not equal J Y 
I does not equal K display style left frac partial partial y underscore j left frac partial phi partial y underscore k right underscore y underscore i n e q k right underscore y underscore i n e q j equals left frac partial partial y underscore k left frac partial phi partial y underscore j right underscore y underscore i n e q j right underscore y underscore i n e q k from these we get the Maxwell relations. There will be d minus one, two of them for each potential, giving a total of d d minus one, two equations in all. If we restrict ourselves, the u f h g t v s n i equals minus p s v n i Display style left frac partial t partial v right underscore s n underscore i equals left frac partial p partial s right underscore v n underscore i t p s n i equals plus v s p n i Display style left frac partial t partial p right underscore s n underscore i equals plus left frac partial v partial s right underscore p n underscore i s v t n i equals plus p t v n i Display style left frac partial s party al v right underscore t n underscore i equals plus left frac partial p partial t right underscore v n underscore i s p t n i equals minus v t p n i Display style left frac partial s partial p right underscore t n underscore i equals left frac partial v partial t right underscore p n underscore i. Using the equations of state involving the chemical potential, we get equations such as t n j v s n i does not equal J equals mu J S V N I display style left frac partial t partial n underscore J right underscore V S n underscore I n e q J equals left frac partial mu underscore J partial S right underscore V n underscore I and using the other potentials we can get equations such as n j v s mu j n i does not equal j equals minus p mu j s v n i does not equal J display style left frac partial n underscore J partial v right underscore s mu underscore J n underscore i n e q J equals left frac partial p partial mu underscore J right underscore s v n underscore i n e q J n J n k s V mu j n i does not equal j k equals minus mu k mu j s v n 
i does not equal j display style left frac partial n underscore j partial n underscore k right underscore s v mu underscore j n underscore i n e q j k equals left frac partial mu underscore k partial mu underscore j right underscore s v n underscore i n e q j topic euler integrals Again, define xi and yi to be conjugate pairs, and the yi to be the natural variables of the internal energy. Since all of the natural variables of the internal energy u are extensive quantities, u alpha y i equals alpha u y i. Display style u alpha y underscore i equals alpha u y underscore i. It follows from Euler's homogeneous function theorem that the internal energy can be written as u y i equals j y j u y j y i does not equal J display style u y underscore i equals sum underscore j y underscore j left frac partial u partial y underscore j right underscore y underscore i n e q j. From the equations of state, we then have u equals t s minus p v plus i mu i n i display style u equals tspv plus sum underscore i mu underscore i n underscore i substituting into the expressions for the other main potentials we have f equals minus p v plus i mu i n I display style f equals p v plus sum underscore i mu underscore i n underscore i h equals t s plus i mu i n i display style h equals t s plus sum underscore i mu underscore i n underscore i g equals i mu i n i display style g equals sum underscore i mu underscore i n underscore i as in the above sections this process can be carried out on all of the other thermodynamic potentials note that the euler integrals are sometimes also referred to as fundamental equations The Gibbs–Duhem relation Deriving the Gibbs–Duhem equation from basic thermodynamic state equations is straightforward. Equating any thermodynamic potential definition with its Euler integral expression yields u equals T s minus P v plus I mu i n i display style u equals tspv plus sum underscore i mu underscore i n underscore i differentiating and using the second law d u equals t d s minus p d v plus i mu i d n i display style do equals t d s p d v plus sum underscore i mu underscore i d n underscore i yields zero equals s d t minus 
V D P plus I N I D mu I Display style zero equals S D T V D P plus some underscore I and underscore I D mu underscore I which is the Gibbs Duhem relation. The Gibbs Duhem is a relationship among the intensive parameters of the system. It follows that for a simple system with I components, there will be I plus one independent parameters, or degrees of freedom. For example, a simple system with a single component will have two degrees of freedom, and may be specified by only two parameters, such as pressure and volume for example. The law is named after Josiah Willard Gibbs and Pierre Duhem. <laughs> Chemical reactions Changes in these quantities are useful for assessing the degree to which a chemical reaction will proceed. The relevant quantity depends on the reaction conditions, as shown in the following table. Delta denotes the change in the potential and at equilibrium the change will be zero. Most commonly one considers reactions at constant P and T, so the Gibbs free energy is the most useful potential in studies of chemical reactions. See also Coomber's relationship equals equals notes <laughs>